Hey, it's Dr. Fuck here with a, a, a special video I just wanted to put up. Number one, Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, December 31st, 2016, and we're almost done with the year. So uh, let's hope we make it, man. Fingers crossed, man. 2016 was a tough one. Uh, I have something I want to read to you. These are comments that I got. Uh, I just, number one, want to say thank you so much, everybody that leaves me comments. 99% of them are great. Uh, there's just that 1% of just idiots. They just, they don't even want to debate. All they want to do is insult me. And, and I, you know, I never bring them up. I'm going to bring them up here. But, but first, before that, I want to read this comment, which is a negative comment, but at the same time, it's not really mean-spirited. It's just this guy obviously hasn't looked at all my reviews because he thinks a certain way about me. And let's see. Let's go, go into this. This is from the second sighting Fraley's comment review. He wrote, I'm not surprised dude didn't like Over Now and Time is Running Out. It seems like anything remotely softer than a song like Insane disqualifies it as being a legit rock song according to Dr. Fuck, me. Obviously doesn't know me. And uh, I, I hope he's watching this. Even though I did comment uh, and the comments I'm going to do is pretty much what I want. I pulled a bunch of albums out to let this guy know my musical taste. And, uh, well, let me continue. Um, I understand the diehard mentality, but at the same time, I don't. I think they're very well-written songs. But then again, I was raised on AOR, which covered a wide spectrum of songwriting, I think. It makes me wonder, did anybody who was a diehard, wasn't a nerd, or didn't have a set of knockers on them hate softer songs by great rock bands back in the day as well. I'm curious from a young fan to an old fan. Okay. Now, uh, one thing I, I really f bothers me to some point are people that have to brag about their musical taste. Like, oh, well, I like heavy, but I also like this and like that. And I don't really like doing that, but I think I'm going to do it. I'm a huge fan of what critics call corporate rock. I love Journey. Huge fan of Journey, Escape, Capture. I, I was raised on this shit. Uh, Evolution. Uh, raised on radio, I'm not too big of a fan of. Sorry. Um, Evolution. Oh, what was that other one? Departure, I guess. My favorite Journey album, Infinity. The early stuff's really good, like Next and the first one and um, uh, Frontiers. And this is like a compilation of all the early Greg Raleigh sung songs. Huge fan of Journey. Kansas. Love Kansas. Just saw them not too long ago. I own a bunch of Kansas albums. And actually, uh, this is the first one I bought when it was brand new, back in 79. Uh, I, love, I love all these albums. This is a great live album. This is the first album I ever owned. And look at it. It's all fucked up and shit. This is the first rock album I ever bought. Left Overture. My favorite. I bought it again in good condition. Cause, and, and again, I own it three times. Mask is an awesome album. And then this one uh, with Play the Game, right? No, this is the... I forgot the name of this one. This one I bought recently, and it's pretty good. Uh, power. More corporate rock. Boston. I love Boston. The first one, second one is the ones I really love. This one, other than Cool the Engines, whatever. And look at this shit. I own a Barry Manilow album. You want to talk about fucking uh, All I Like is Heavy Stuff? I actually like this album. I love the song even now. Uh, and, oh my God, I own everything from ABBA, but I have every album on CD, the box set, the albums. But I own a bunch of ABBA albums. Look, Arrival, I love Arrival. This one's my favorite, the album. Uh, this one's really good, Super Trooper, which has the amazing um, Winner Takes It All. My favorite singer, female singer of all time is this beautiful blonde, Agnieta. And uh, look, look at all the ABBA albums I own, plus all their CDs. REO Speedwagon, especially the 70s stuff. I do love High Infidelity, their big hit. This one, it has a couple okay songs, but this is one that, this is when I stopped. Uh, this is early 70s stuff. This is without Kevin Cronin, that, and that one's okay. I love the first one. I own it two times. And this one is a rare white vinyl. Uh, just take my word. I don't have enough time to fucking speed, speed this out. This is a real good album. An amazing live album, which I bought twice. Uh, or maybe three times. This is like really like ugh, Good Trouble is a good album, but it has a lot of schlop on it. But I love Stillness of the Night, Keep the Fire Burning, and I think the key 
There's a couple good songs on this one, but that's, that's really the end of it. Love this one, The Return of Kevin Cronin. Decade of rock and roll. If you want to get into 70s hard rock, REO, get this one. This is like a compilation. This one is kind of weird. Much later, I couldn't really get into it. This one's terrible. Uh, I love this one. This one's more like the hard rock. The heaviest REO Speedwagon, in my opinion, is Nine Lives. Uh, riding the Storm Out. I would love to get the Kevin Cronin version, but it's hard to get. It's impossible to get. It's not out there. Lost in a Dream. It's okay. Love this one. REO 2. And you, know, you can't tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Here's another album I fucking adore. I listen to all the time. Super Tramp. Styx. Styx is fucking amazing. The first album, which I have both covers. Uh, this is the best of Styx. The live album, eh, it's okay. Uh, Paradise Theater is amazing. I love this album. This one's crap. I'm sorry, I don't like Kilroy, even though I own it twice. No, no, I'm sorry, I own it three times. Uh, the first album that I showed you before, this is the original cover. Uh, Sticks 2. Uh, this one, The Serpent's Rising, is pretty good. It's kind of heavy. Uh, Equinox is a fucking awesome album. I love it. And uh, Pieces of Eight, I love. I love it so much, I bought it twice. Cornerstone is, uh, you know, it has its moments. Eddie's a badass song. Love at Midnight. Boat on the River I love. And very rare, uh, very mellow song. Um, this one is my favorite, Grand Illusion. And this one's my second favorite. I gotta admit, I don't like their sappy ballads. But I love me some fucking Striper, man. Striper. This new one is fucking awesome. I love it. The Fallen. This is their first album. Uh, well, the EP. Reasons for the Season, I have this one twice. Uh, Reach Out, a fucking uh, single. Soldiers Under the Command, great songs on that one. I have this twice. To Hell with the Devil, the big, the big hit, love it. Well, I have this twice as well. I have To <laughs> Hell with the Devil twice. This is when they've got a little soft, but it does have its moments. This is something I really love, is uh, Jeff Buckley. It's a very mellow, incredible singer that passed away. Love this album. So much. I played this so much. But then again, I love Immortal. I love this early black metal stuff. It's fucking awesome. I love it. It's maybe a little too extreme. And of course, I love the death metal. This is like uh, my favorite two death albums, even though I own the rest. I didn't pull out my Morbid Angel, my favorite death metal band from back in the day. Dark Throne. Okay. Venom. I adore Venom. And uh, I didn't pull out you know, look at all these Venom albums I own. And uh, I had Corona sign this. And uh, here, which is my real rare one? Dude, I have the Welcome to Hell. Uh, I don't want to pull it out, but trust me, this is the, this is the original press with the, with, the, with the fucking poster inside. I'm the Beatles. I own the mono box set. And actually, this doesn't bring all the albums, but I ended up buying all the albums. So I have all the other albums that didn't come in here. Oh, man, you got to have to take my word for it. Abbey Road and uh, uh, Let It Be and stuff like that is in this box set. And I love Cheap Trick. I didn't pull out No Merciful Fate. My, th those are my favorite bands from, you know, my favorite bands of all time. Black Sabbath, Merciful Fate, Beatles, Cheap Trick, um, ABBA. I mean, I love all that shit. So there you go. That's uh, the end of me proving I got, I got different musical taste. Oh, look at me. My shit don't stink. I just want to do that so this guy will understand. And anybody out there, when I bash... Songs like It's Over Now and uh, Time Is Running Out. Sorry, I just don't like it. I really love, I got, I'm going to go grab this. I'll be right back. Okay, check it out. So uh, I really, I went out and I bought this right here, 4 by Fate. This is a new band that features Todd Howarth. And uh, I love Todd Howarth. I think um, the, the stuff he did on the, on the first Fairly these albums, great. Breakout, Something Moved, I loved. And Calling to You is a good, it's a poppy song. I love it. Um... So I bought this, and I really liked it. This uh, features a late, great A.J. Peril that passed away from Twisted Sister, John Regan, and now Rob Alfuso is uh, the drummer, and I can't remember the guitar player's name. And I just want to bring up, or is it Todd Howard that plays guitar? No, I think they also have another guitar player. I bought this, and I want to I tell an interesting story because of this album, because of Mr. Todd Howard. Uh, he's on my Facebook, and I wrote this long story when Fidel Castro died, and all of Fidel Castro sympathizers and stuff and I just I wrote a heartfelt not bashing anybody I just wrote a heartfelt thing of how when I visited Cuba the conditions that it was in and how much I love America when I got back and this and that and he was so impressed he sent me it 
I already bought it, but he sent me it again, signed by everybody in the band. How cool is that? And me and him had a great conversation on Facebook Messenger. Really nice guy, and I feel he's extremely talented. And I love Todd Howarth. I just don't like Fraley's comment. All right, so that's enough of that comment. Here's another comment I want to bring up, but I'm not going to bring up the guy's name because I know if I do, he'll be like this. But he probably will be like this anyway uh, that I'm mentioning. This is, this is a person that I have deleted. Over, well, I, you know, he, I deleted his profile name. Uh, you know, I blocked him from it because it's just pointless to come here and just say stupid shit about me. It doesn't really bother me. I just think it's a waste of space. And I let him do it over and over again until I was like, you know what, later I blocked him. But he came back as a different name, but he still uses the last, the, the same last name. And this is what he wrote. He goes, this is from my album collection. I mean, actually, my Kiss collection. He left a comment on every one. I deleted every one, but I left one up. And he says, this should be called Gay Ass Kiss Collection 3. Just saying. Well, um... I'm just saying that uh, this will be the last time I ever talk about you. And this is my reply, this is my reply to him. I said, I'm going to block you yet again. I'll just wait till your sorry ass reads this until I do. I know it takes you way longer to make your gay ass profiles than it does to, for me to just click it once to Banville. So go ahead, make more. This will be the last response you will get from me since you crave the attention no one gives you, especially from females, keyboard pussy ass warrior. And... Uh, Go right ahead. Anybody out there, you want to fucking bash me? I'm, this is my New Year's resolution. I am never, ever, ever going to give any of you idiots that leave comments like this attention. Go ahead. Waste your time. Make profile. Uh, and, and then uh, I just go click. I'm not going to delete this guy yet. And I said I'm going to wait till he reads it. No, I, I, I changed my mind. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till he leaves another stupid comment. Then I will delete them. But in the meantime, you're my bitch. Because I know you're not fucking leaving any comments now because you know I'm going to ban you. So let's see how long Bitch Boy stays quiet. And here's another, and this is another type of, uh, 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 you leave a review like this, I'm just going to ban you. Uh, Animal Eyes, somebody wrote, dude, you're a douchebag and your opinion sucks. Uh... And, and I think it's a girl. It's Tammy. Her name is Tammy. Or is it a guy called Tammy? I don't know. If it is a guy called Tammy, then I understand why you're so mad. But uh, I'm not going to delete this person unless they leave a stupid message like that again. You leave a stupid comment like that, why do I want you here? Now, here's the thing. You're probably saying to yourself, wow, you can't handle somebody saying, yes, I can. There's a lot of nice people out there that leave me comments going, dude, I disagree with you, but they're respectful about it, and they stay. Plain and simple. Uh, and that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. So, again, I want to th thank everybody, all you people on here that are cool motherfuckers. Uh, people like that are just shitty people with shitty lives, and they have to lash out at somebody. It's obvious. I mean, dude... Seriously, if I see somebody say something I don't agree with, I usually don't even comment. You know, it's like, whatever, it's your opinion. You know, like my animal eyes. I mean, I like some of it, and I, I hated some of it. So I guess I hated some of the things Tammy liked, so therefore he or she had to, like, call me a douchebag and that my opinion sucked. No, nobody's opinion sucked. If you have different opinion than mine, you're right. And I've, I've said this before. And you know I'm right. All you idiots out there know I'm right. You're just doing this because your life sucks and you want to lash out at people because of your miserable life. But remember, if your life sucks, you suck. And to everybody else, Happy New Year. And even to the douchebags, I wish you a Happy New Year. I wish you uh, actually get a life and then be happy. You know, because people like you will probably end up shooting up schools and stuff. And, you know, I don't want, uh, you know, people like you are just idiots. And you need to fucking brighten up and, and get a life and get happy, man. You're alive, dude. While you're above ground, just enjoy fucking life. That's my, uh, if you don't want to do that, then fine. Live your miserable life and keep leaving me comments there so I can just do, fuck it. I'll, I'll delete this idiot now. Why not? This, this is how long it takes me to, well, no, I'm not going to do it yet. I'll wait, I'll wait till Bitch Boy leaves me another comment. Then go ahead, 
Make my day. Now you know who I'm talking about. So, uh, everybody else and all the douchebags, even you, douchey, uh, I wish you a happy new year. Everybody, a long life and uh, rock on, man. And uh, fuck, scab, kiss. That's what I feel. And uh, if you don't like me saying fuck, scab, kiss, then, you know, bye. <laughs>